So today I'm putting myself in the place of a manufacturer, um, an engineer, someone that's looking to buy a new CNC lathe. Uh, and I'm going to go through or put myself or put the machines through the paces um, and ask the questions that you would ask if you were looking to buy a machine. Um, now, I'm at Leader CNC. This is my first port of call. I'm going to be looking, going to a few companies today of which late, uh, videos will come out uh, later on of those investigations as well. But the first machine I'm going to look at here is the DL25 DMC. Now, I'm looking for a straight CNC lathe. I'm not interested in CNC milling, driven tools, C-axis. just want two axis to turning. So I've been presented here at Leader CNC today with this machine which is the DMC. First thing I'm going to do is quickly tell you the specs of the machines before we start kind of looking under the covers and at some of the detail of the things that might um, describe some of the benefits of this particular model. So to start with the swing over the bed 610 millimeters, the important things uh, the max turning diameter 400 mil, uh, with it being the DL25, you'll be looking at a, a, an 8-stroke 10-inch chuck. In fact, this machine has got a 10-inch chuck in it or on it. Uh, it's got 86 millimeter bore diameter, so for burying those uh, components and doing bar work, you can be looking at uh, up to those diameters. You've got just over a meter in the Z-axis here. That impresses me. We'll come back to that shortly. It is a box guideway machine. You've got a 12-station turret. Uh, and, it, uh, and overall, the machine has actually got th is 3.9 meters um, in length and 1.8 meters in width. So there's some of the some of the, the specs of the machines. Now, what about uh, what I do next? Which I suppose is look under the covers of it and try and find out a bit more about how the machine's made and some of the features uh, that I like that could be advantageous to me as a machinist. The first one I have to touch on is that z-axis, just over a meter, a meter and 80 millimeters. Um, that's good uh, because it means I can do longer term parts, but what it also does mean is I'm not restricted in shorter parts as well. I can bring the tail stop forward uh, within program and I can support shorter components too. So it gives me a bit more flexibility. If I've got the floor space, then actually why wouldn't I go for a machine with a longer turn in length of just over a metre? The next thing I'm going to look at is actually how the machine is built. So here uh, I'm presented with a machine that's uh, in fact, in the brochure it tells me it's a one-piece casting, which is pretty impressive. And it's actually um, a 45-degree slant bed. Now, what that means is actually the casting is actually quite close. It's bringing, uh, it's bringing the turret um, and the, uh, what we'd class here as the x-axis closer to the actual chuck, which means you get more rigid machining environment uh, compared to maybe some other machines that don't have that 45 degree bed. So that's important. Uh, I'm also shown here that we've got a very wide support for our x-axis where the turret is housed as well and that would mean as, as well that would work in harmony with the 45 degree casting which would mean we get plenty of rigidity too. Uh, I also then when I, when I look at the turret see that I've got 12 stations Okay, that's good. Sometimes machines, straight turning machines like this might just have 10. This has got 12, so I can get extra tools as well. What about what is facing me inside the machine here? Well, we've got a Swarf conveyor which comes or appears to come as standard here. And actually you can see by the very nature of the way the machine's laid out that it, it does look like it's been, uh, attention to detail has been spent on actually the design of this. It looks like it's going to be very good at getting the Swarf out of the machining area. Uh, now the machine is a box guideway machine so that's going to kind of make me think that right okay you know it's going to last it's going to have uh, the longevity that i might need doesn't matter what i cut i might be cutting titanium oil industry work could be doing uh, all of that this machine is going to handle that dampen vibration and all of those types of things so they're good points as well um, now what about if i close the door simple as it sounds i've got two doors double action here um, and I've also got the control quite neatly positioned here on one of the doors. Now I can also move that control here. So I'm now thinking, okay, from a, an operator's perspective, I can program quite easily. I can see in the machine, I've got a nice clear window here, uh, not just to, to here, but I believe if I look behind this door here as well, or, or this um, you'll see on the second door there is a clear window there so we've got plenty of uh, visibility in the machine and I do like the double door as well so I'm going to open the door again we're going to go in the machine one more time 
And I have to say, I do like the way the door opens there. The action is very, very smooth. Um, so I'm kind of back in here again. I'm quite impressed. I am impressed. I'm impressed with the way the machine's laid out. Uh, I'm impressed by how much space and light there is in the machine. Um, I did also note a point in the brochure as well about the box, the box weighs on this machine being 1.8 times thicker than other competitors. We all know that box, box weigh machines, as, me, as mentioned earlier, great for dissipated vibration um, for uh, machines lasting many, many years and, of course, machining harder, harder materials and doing heavier duty cuts. So this machine um, is what the first one we've looked at today. This is from Leader CNC. It is available here from stock. It does come with this fanet control. And this does have manual guide on it as well. So if you're new into turning or you want to have that conversational element, you have got that with this machine. Um, the Swarf conveyor is here underneath, but the Swarf uh, bin that comes with the machine as well is positioned under the conveyor out of the right-hand side. We've obviously got all the foot pedals we need for the tailstock. I mentioned earlier the tailstock is fully programmable. Um, so it can be dragged along the base of the machine. Uh, it looks to me like this is a possible solution for me if I'm looking for a turning centre. Come here to lead a CNC uh, to look at this and I've been very impressed. DMC uh, looks like it's ticking the boxes uh, for me on this visit.